Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking the five habits you need in your life and in your skincare routine for that gorgeous, glowing, and clear skin. Now, whilst we're talking about clear skin in this video, all of these habits, if you start incorporating them into your routine and life in 2021, will improve the overall appearance of the skin and obviously your skin health. So it's like a win-win, whatever your skin type. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, keep on watching. Now, when we talk habits, we mean things that you do time and time again. You know, gone are the days where every year I make resolutions and I do them for the first couple of days and then they're forgotten about and I never do them again. Habits are things that we do so often, they just become natural to us and we do them almost without thinking. So these are things that hopefully you'll be able to switch up in your life and in your routine in 2021 to improve the overall clarity of the skin, our complexion, bring back that vibrancy and luminosity and just get our skin A game on in 2021. Coming in at number number one is think before you cleanse. This sounds really weird because you can hear like if you do some searches for some blogs on improving the clarity of the skin, tackling acne, sorting out dehydrated skin and all that, most of them will say make sure you cleanse twice a day. This seems to be like the number one piece of advice that people always give when it comes to cleansing. Well I'm going to contradict that and say actually think before you pick up that cleanser. A lot of people don't actually need to cleanse twice a day so on an evening I think almost everybody should cleanse. That cleanses is getting rid of the dirt, the debris, the SPF, any makeup that you might be wearing, all the things that are sitting on our skin and we need to remove and sloth off before we then apply our other serums. If your skin has to fight through layers of dirt, debris and old makeup, it's not going to be as effective as if it goes on to clean skin. So I always think that the second cleanse of the day, the evening cleanse, is non-negotiable. But when it comes to the morning cleanse, do you actually need to cleanse your skin? Or is all that's on your skin a little light oils that your body's um, built up over the evening as you've been sleeping? Maybe a little bit of sweat and that's it. A splash of cool or lukewarm water will get all of that off the skin and that's probably all you need. If you're cleansing, you can be stripping and washing away some of those real essential oils that your skin has built up over the evening and you probably don't need to do it. There are, of course, exceptions to this. If you're super oily, you might want to do a cleanse in the morning to rebalance the skin. But I always think, think before you cleanse and make Maybe cut out that morning cleansing step and just splash your face with lukewarm water instead. As part of this as well, I'm going to be calling out the makeup wipes. I think we've all heard this. I honestly, I think we've heard this to death when it comes to YouTube and influencers saying ditch the makeup wipes. But I still see so many people using them. They're not effective when it comes to cleansing. They move things around the face rather than actually removing dirt and debris from the skin. And often they can be packed full of quite harsh parabens and other preservatives which can strip and dry the skin. Just a firm no. If you love, love, love that feeling of wiping something off, you like to see something on a pad that gives you that satisfaction, then reach for a micellar water. Micellar waters are great, they're much more effective than cleansing wipes, and you can get away from some of the environmental concerns from tossing away all those old wipes by using reusable cotton rounds. I'll leave a link below to my favourite reusable cotton rounds if you want to check those out, and some of my favourite micellar waters. But, just as a side note, one that I'm fangirling hard over at the moment is this. This is the CN Micellar Water Sensitive from Aldi here in the UK. So, budget supermarket. So cheap, but you can get it across the UK and Europe. This was 96 pence. That comes in at around like a dollar, a dollar 25 cent. So, so cheap and affordable. And yet, I actually think is better than the Micellar Water by Bioderma. The one product I've actually found that I think might beat the Bioderma Micellar Water. And it's so, so cheap. It comes with a really great cap where you almost, you press the pad on here and it dispenses the right amount, which I love for the price point. And it's got so few ingredients in. There's nothing that's going to irritate or um, cause any sensitivity in the skin. And it gets off like makeup, dirt, debris, SPF in one swipe. Genuinely life-changing. So if you're on a budget or just want to cut out a little bit of expense in your routine, pop along to Aldi, pick this up, and your skin will love you for it. Now, moving on to habit number two, and that's let's stop fixating on skin type. I know we always talk about this on YouTube, on this channel, on other influencers' channels, on beauty blogs, everyone talks about skin type, and knowing your skin type is essential before you start a skincare routine actually a load of old rot and lies. Skin type does play a part. You know, if you have sensitive skin, you obviously want to then tailor your products to suit that. If you have drier skin or oilier skin, I do understand that skin type is definitely a thing and it definitely needs to be considered in your routine. But let's not fixate on it because actually what we should be thinking about when we piece together a skincare routine is what 
is asking complaints that we want to tackle. Is the acne the thing that's bothering us the most? Do we have hyperpigmentation? Maybe we have sensitivity and redness that we want to dial back. Those are the key things. So think about what you want to treat in the skin before you then start worrying about what your skin type is. Because you can tailor your routine to match your skin's concerns, get the best results for the lowest price point, and actually start building your self-confidence and loving your skin again. You're not going to be able to do all of that if you just fixate on whether you have oily skin or dry skin. You need to think a bit more about what you're looking to treat in the skin and so a real great habit I'd love 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 to see us get into in 2021 is to drop the obsession with skin types which let's be honest change all the time one minute I'm oily one minute I'm dry depends on the season depends on what I've been eating the night before it can really change based on so many things so let's drop the fixation with skin types and focus on what our skin complaints are the things that we can really make a difference with to boost our self-esteem and get us loving our skin again if you want to piece together a skincare routine for 2021 maybe you're totally new to skincare I've got you covered I'll leave a link to a video I did up there which is like the basics of how to build a skin and um, skincare routine dependent on your skin type and your Concerns. So click on that video and check out some of the ways that you can piece together your own routine. Habit number three is to check your hair care products. Now, this seems a little bit odd. For some reason, whilst the hair, particularly if you have longer hair, sits around our face, the scalp is obviously an extension of the skin that's on our face and can impact how um, our skin presents itself. We seem to just neglect what goes on with our hair and fixate everything that just happens in this part of our skin. Actually, what you put on your hair, which can then, of course, come into contact with the skin or feed into the skin systems, actually has a huge impact on what the appearance of the skin that we see on our face. A really great example of this is fungal acne sufferers. I have so many people reaching out to me with fungal acne, despairing because they've got a full skincare routine which is fungal acne safe. They've checked every last ingredient in their facial skincare routine and yet they still have fungal acne breakouts on the forehead or on the cheeks. I always go to them and say, well, what are you using on your hair? And often people neglect that our hair hangs around our face. Like I say, it's all linked to our facial structure. And so what happens is the products that we use on our hair then come into contact with our skin. We use products in our hair care which we wouldn't dream of having in our skincare routine or that we're looking to cut back on our skincare routine. Sulfates, parabens, excess oils, all these things are fine in moderation but if we're loading them onto the hair and then it's coming in contact with the skin on our face it can be causing real issues. So I'd say turn over your hair care products and not just the shampoos and conditioners but the dry shampoos we might be using, the scalp treatments, all of those things. Turn them over and actually check on whether they could be interacting with the skin on our face and causing us to have suboptimal results from our skincare routine. Habit number four is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I go on about this so often on the channel, but do you know what? So many people start using hydrators and then they fall out of fashion. They stop using them. Maybe they don't see some great results because hydrators generally don't give us those earth shattering skin changing results. And so we kind of can get a little bit bored of them. We also have those people who have oily skin like myself and who think, well, I don't need to hydrate because actually my skin is already oily enough. Do I really need to hydrate? Oil is very different to hydration. And so I think there is a place for a hydrating serum or moisturizer in every single person's routine. Now, whether you want to use a super thick and occlusive moisturizer at the end of your routine if you have very dry skin, or maybe you just want to do some light moisturizing throughout your routine if you have oily skin like me, hydrated skin is so, so much healthier than um, dehydrated skin. If you have acne, it's super important that you have hydrated skin because hydrated skin heals better and quicker. So if you're finding a lot of your blemishes and pimples leave behind dark marks, which are really stubborn and hard to remove, it could be because your skin's dehydrated. And so it's not at its optimum when it comes to fighting that acne, but also healing properly and correctly afterwards, which is why we're often left with dark marks and scarring as a result of our acne. Hydration is crucial. Now, a couple of tips for getting some hydration in your skincare routine. Obviously, what goes in your body is then reflected in the skin, so drinking more water is kind of part of that. I know so many of you will have, in fact, own up in the comments below, is one of your New Year's resolutions to drink more water. It can be a really great way of hydrating the skin and something we should all do and incorporate more of in our overall um, daily routine. But that's only part of the battle. You also have to apply some topical hydrators. So you can go for something like the thick occlusive moisturizer I mentioned earlier, or you can be a bit more subtle and incorporate a few little extra hydrating elements in your skincare routine as you go along. Some of my favorite ways of doing that is with an essence or a toner. There are so many great toners and essences on the market. The one I'm using at the moment is this. This is the Liquid Hydration by Geek and Gorgeous. The reason I love this is it's got amino acids in there, which are great when it comes to supporting with anti-aging. 
It also is packed full of panthenol, which is a B vitamin which calms and soothes the skin. So if you have redness prone skin, this is your holy grail and savior. If you have very dry skin, this will just up the ante. Or if you're like me with super oily skin, you might have used a more stripping um, cleanser to remove some of that excess oil and you want to just hydrate before you then apply your serums. In any case, this is a gorgeous product to include straight after your cleansing and exfoliating step. I'll leave a link to this, like I said, with all the products below. So check it out if you want some more information. But honestly, for I think this was like nine pounds and a little goes a long way. You apply it on your hands and direct to the skin. So you don't need to use a cotton round. So it's environmentally friendly, just an all round amazing hydrator. You might want to consider, if you don't want to use a toner, and you can, of course, mix and match and use all these together, but you might want to include a peptide in your routine. I've gone on about peptides on this channel so much. They are wonderful when it comes to really energizing the cells, giving the cells that hydration that they need. They can help with anti-aging. They can even the skin tone. Just an all-around amazing product. I would definitely recommend you include a peptide in your routine at some point, but this is my go-to. This is the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. This, I rated my number one skin care product of 2020 in a video I recorded earlier so I'll leave a link to it up there hands down the best peptide you'll find super hydrating super moisturizing will help even out the skin texture and tone just amazing and a great way of battling some acne um, scarring and hyperpigmentation by giving your skin the hydration it needs to heal properly Finally, if you're super dry and you feel like you've reached the end of the road, you don't know how to get that hydration back into your skincare life, just add a few drops of facial oil into that moisturizer and that'll increase the levels of hydration you get from your routine. My go-to is this. This is the rosehip oil. Beautiful. Rosehip seed oil is great for all skin types because it won't clog the pores or lead to excess oil and it can really just nourish and heal the skin at the same time as giving some great hydrating benefits. Total, total win, win, win. And definitely think about your hydration game when it comes to 2021. Now, finally, my final habit that I hope everybody will embrace and get on board with in 2021 is think about antioxidants. I haven't mentioned SPF in this video and a lot of people are like, surely SPF has to be the number one habit. I'm taking that as red. You should all have an SPF in your skincare routine already. If you haven't, definitely check out a video I did on SPFs, which I'll link up there. Choose one and include it in your routine. But I think we need to go a step further and I definitely would encourage everyone to to incorporate an antioxidant in their skincare routine. Lots of people don't use antioxidants because they're worried about the price point. And some of them, the really, really bougie, luxury, high-end, multi-technology approach ones can be really expensive. I happen to love those, which is why I always reach for the Neod Survival, which I think is like £30 here in the UK. But it doesn't matter what your price point, there is an antioxidant for you. So I would say if you haven't got antioxidants in your routine, then you're at risk of the free radicals causing oxidative stress on the skin and just um, aging us prematurely. How they work is they scavenge. If you think of them like little Pac-Men that go around and scavenge and eat up all the free radicals that come into contact with our skin. That might be wavelengths of light, blue light from our tablets and from our phones. It could be particulate matter from exhaust fumes if we live in the city. All those nasty things that could come in contact with our skin and cause stress and premature aging. These little pack men go around and they eat them up and stop them doing damage when they hit the skin's cells. So I would say to you, if you haven't got an antioxidant in your routine, don't panic, don't worry about, check your bank balance, worry about whether you've got the money to incorporate one. Reach for the Inculist Q10 serum. I've left a link to it below. Definitely, definitely, definitely check that product out. Five pounds here in the UK, seven dollars in the US, and I find one bottle will last probably about two months. Super affordable, and yeah, I would say it's one of the most effective antioxidants I've found. You could also use the Pycnogenol by The Ordinary. That's even better for anti-aging. So if you're looking for a starter antioxidant, the Inclus Q10 serum, fantastic. The Pycnogenol by The Ordinary is amazing for anyone who's looking for a more targeted anti-aging routine, as it binds to collagen and stops those free radicals destroying our collagen levels and our firmness and elasticity. So definitely, definitely a win-win. I've left links to both. I think both of them come in at around the five to eight pounds mark. Super affordable. They last for ages because a little goes a long, long way. You only need to use them on the morning and your skin will look gorgeous, radiant, and your skin will thank you for it down the line when you have less aging and of course, less oxidative stress in your life. And who needs that? Let's de-stress in 2021 and that includes your skin. So there you have it, guys. The five habits I think you should incorporate 
incorporate in your skincare life to get the most from your skin. Whether you crave clarity, whether you want some luminosity, some anti-aging, all five of these will help you achieve that, whatever your skincare goals are. Leave me a comment below if you're going to be following any of these. Do you already have all of these in your skincare routine? Brag about it in the comments below because I'd love, love, love to hear from you. Share any product recommendations that you have for the things I've mentioned in terms of hydration and antioxidants. I'm sending you lots and lots of love for the start of 2021. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.